Good day, this is Mass X again, bringing you another Bleach and Mortal Souls video. Today I'm going to do one that was requested to go over the boss battle team I use. And quite honestly, this team works really effectively in Karakura Town when that event comes up. And if you're not familiar, of course, under squad, boss, each day you can fight the Gillian and the beauty of this is you get a lot of good items from it it's worth doing every day and it's worth trying to maximize your attack because the higher you get the more rewards you get so let's go over the team that I'm currently using and been using for some time the team is made up of Eucoria He's the first position front line. It's where I use him. If you're not familiar with him, he's got some great skills because not only is he a tank, he's on your front line, so you want him to live. He heals himself, and he can heal your whole front line for a small amount. He, do, he can do burning damage. He's just a strong character in, in this battle as well as Karakura Town. I can't stress enough, he's very important to the team. I don't think he's really replaceable. So he's one to get and he's a great character. If you've used him or you don't have him and can get him, he's great on one-on-one, -on -one, especially um, <clears throat> in the Kenpachi challenges. He heals himself, he stays alive, he does decent damage to take out your opponent before they can kill you. So I highly recommended him. Warsoul wise for him, I use um, Warsoul of Asura on him as well as Warsoul of Soaring. Those can be a little bit more interchangeable. If you want to go a little bit more defensive on him, you can. Um, he's there to really heal and inflict some burning damage and to keep people alive as well as himself. The next character I use is Zangetsu. He's next on the front line. Not normally a front line character, but you want as many attackers as you can get in these types of challenges. So you gotta do damage. The reason why I use Zangetsu, and you'll see why a little bit later, is mainly for two reasons. Bleed and rage reduction. You need to get those stacks of bleed on your boss or Aizen in Karakura Town. You want to keep doing that damage as well as the rage reduction helps you from getting hit with the Saro from the boss and boss battles. Now with him, I use a War Soul of Crimson on him because I want to increase my bleed damage. It also gives an attack bonus to him. And I also use Warsaw of Vitality on him, which also adds that bleed damage 20%, and the damage rate and attack rate goes up. Can't go wrong. Zangetsu's not one of my most favorite characters, but in these types of battles, he works great. The last one on the front line I have is I use Byakuya. Similar reasons, bleed. You want to keep stacking that bleed so that damage keeps hitting that boss. His war soul is very similar. I use a crimson on him too to get that bleed damage up. And the war soul of Colleen is on him. That has really nothing to do with this. It's for other aspects of the game that I use him for. But it does help him because it does get his attack up. My back line, I use first off, and he's probably the MVP of the team, is Gein. He's another attacker, and he gets a bleed bonus, because what are you doing? You're trying to make this target bleed. On him, I use a Warsaw of Fury, again, you use the Warsaws you got. Sometimes some are better than others for particular characters. 
But I do keep a War Soul healing on him. And, and really, quite honestly, it could be on any of your characters. Maris, who you choose. But I use that because if you're not familiar with it, of course, it increases your HP. But the key is, when you're doing your normal attack phase, every three ally attacks, it restores the HP of the lowest character. You can't go wrong with that. You're trying to keep your guys alive. You don't want to lose anybody. The longer they last, the more damage you do. So, you got to keep your team alive. So, with having Yukoria on the front, he's helping out your front row as well as himself. You got the War Soul Healing. That's helping whoever's taking the most damage each round. Keep them all alive. That's the key. But the beauty of Yin is when he's alive, his damage is increased by 10% when attacking bleeding targets. Well, guess what? Your target should be always bleeding if you're using the attackers that cause bleed. And that's what happens. So it's just doing that much more damage. Last but not least, I should say there's two more. I rounded out with Ichigo, of course. Bleed, again, common theme here. On him, I use a War Soul Crit, so he's critting as much as possible. I also use the War Soul Rage. Gives a 40% chance increase in affecting bleed, because again, theme of this conversation is, all you want to do is make your target bleed. Continue to take that damage each round when it ends. And then of course, if you need an attacker, you gotta go with Kimpachi if you got him. He's vicious. He rage attacks a lot. Can't go wrong with him. He's gonna do heavy damage. I put a Warsaw of Wrath on him. I want him critting. I want his damage rate up. I want to just keep pounding in, in that that boss taking as much damage as possible. I use a War Soul of the Avatar on him. Again, a little bit more interchangeable on that one. That kind of helps your whole group of people. Increases his HP, keep him alive. But again, the key with him is you want him critting and attacking, critting and attacking. And there's a lot of other War Souls you can use on him. A lot of people like to use different ones that allow him to get rage back faster and other items they're all good on him i just like a wrath because i'm going for pure attack and critting when i use him in these types of battles again he's a major damage dealer that's the beauty of him and that's what you're trying to do get as much damage as you can well that's the team that i currently run for boss battles as well as i use it on karakura town Got some videos on there. You can see my boss battles as well as Karakura Town. My max so far. I haven't been able to hit 40 mil yet on boss battle. I'm, I'm right there. I just finally got the 39 mil. But <clears throat> that's excessive. You don't need to get that high to get all the rewards. Now it's just become a challenge to maximize the characters and see how much damage I can do. But again, the key is damage and staying alive make your target bleed and you're going to get rewards daily do it it's worth it they're good rewards in that particular case if you got any questions hit me up i'm going to try to do a couple of these videos every week or two when time permits and check out the videos of my boss battles or the uh, karakura town and you can see this team at work thanks have a good day